Hello, Blizzard fans! This is Falcon Paladin coming to you with yet another Daily Blizzard upload. This is a game between Priest and Some Sing on Cactus Valley, the latter edition. Now, Some Sing, the blue Zerg player in the bottom right here, came to one of the uh, StarCraft II subreddits and said, I got promoted to Masters after being stuck in Diamond for two entire years. And a lot of people are congratulating him, and I said, hey, send me the replay, you got promoted to Masters, and I will cast it to congratulate you on that. And he said, all right, here you go, thanks for doing that, and let me know what it's posted, so I will do that. Now, in the top left, we have the enemy, the Red Zerg Priest from Brawl, with a kind of fun, like, angry toucan icon here on the spinning logo. I don't know, it's pretty neat, though. I'm gonna speed the game up just a little bit, get that production tab going. Now, uh, these should ex ugh, I expect a pretty good game here between these players as they are both high diamond at this point. Or actually, I believe the logo for Priest was Masters, if I remember correctly. So, again, just fantastic, excellent play here. ZVZ can be something of a coin flip, coin flip matchup. Depending on how you want to go, Zergling, Baneling, one good Baneling hit can really win it for you or lose it for you. Uh, Roach battles can be interesting. Whoever gets the upgrades first generally can win that one as well. So both players choosing not to scout, instead sending their overlords out. And it's going to take them a long time to find each other just because they are cross spawns. Although, the fact that the overlords here will not find anything and the overlords here will not find anything will tell them the information they need to know that the cross spawn is the place to be. Now, it looks like we get a hatchery first here from some Sing, and we do actually have a Bailing Nest uh, getting speed here, and a bunch of Zerglings on the way as well. So some Zergling harassment, some Speedling harassment early. He did take the workers off the gas, so he's not going to go Bailings here just yet. But uh, some early harassment from Speedlings can be pretty annoying to deal with. We'll have to see what happens. He is taking a hatchery behind it, though, so he's not completely all in on this one base build. He is going to have two bases here eventually fairly soon. The response here from Sumsing is going to be, oh, shoot, there are a lot of Zerglings coming. I'm going to run past them. No, he says, I need to head home to defend here. The queen is out, though. The queen doing a lot of damage to some of those Zerglings, forcing them back. There is a queen and two lings and six more being produced by something trying to stay alive, getting those workers out of there, blocking the ramp. Uh, and they're going to go to town on this base. But no, I think the two queens plus this many workers is enough to deal with those Zerglings. We're going to slow the game down here just a little bit. I did keep it up on uh, times two there. And I didn't actually realize it just because Zerglings are so fast. But then the queens were fast. And I said, no, uh, we are stuck here on two times. Let's get that back down. Now, here we do have more and more workers coming on out. Uh, pretty much saturating. I think that's going to be it for the Zergling production here from our player Priest. Uh, he recognized he wasn't able to do too much damage, and he was behind on the worker count, and so he said, I'm going to make workers to try to catch back up. It is now 25 to 21, and he's actually ahead of something here. Baneling's coming out here for something. Where's that Baneling nest? Ah, there it is in the main. Haven't looked there for a while, but Zerglings going to town here, trying to attack, trying to buy time for these Banelings. The Banelings are coming out, and they do actually stay alive. The Banelings stay alive. They're going to try to get in there and get some hits on those lings or get some hits on those workers. And here they are going back. The Zerglings actually getting into town, doing a lot of damage to those workers instead. The Queen coming off the map, off the creep just a little bit, getting a bit of a surround. And no, not great hits by those Banelings. The Queen stays alive. And now Banelings, defensive Banelings of Priest's own here. So something is sending more and more Lings across the map. Income tab 24 to 26 Harvesters. He has pulled ahead. So he is macroing here as well as attacking with these Lings, which is what you want to do. If you just stop making workers entirely and then you lose one of these battles, you're pretty much going to lose the game at all together here. The Ling battle is very intense. It does come down to just three Lings left for something and one for Priest. So... Yikes, that was a very, very close battle. We are taking a lot of gas here now from Sumsing. What is his plan going to be? We look at the production tab, and he is upgrading to a lair, so good for him. He's defending very, very well. A more bunch of Zerglings are coming across the map, though, here. Banelings heading on home. Uh, Banelings morphing here at the front, though. We'll have to see what they want to do. Again, this block is okay, but uh, here we go. This is a large group of Zerglings and a couple Banelings. This could be it. For something, if he is not careful, we'll have to see what he decides to do. Making his own defensive banelings. If they can get up at the same time, this, these guys attack. That will be good for him. And yes, Priest is waiting for his own banelings to finish up before he comes in. Oh, huge hits on those banelings. The Zerglings running ahead kind of blindly. Not quite sure what they're doing. 
The Banelings of Priests detonate there against pretty much nothing. It is a good trade on some sinks part, and that was huge. I mean, units lost. It's going to be 44 Zerglings lost for Priest and 26 for our hero Blue Zerg player, some sinks. So, well played by him. That was a bit of a lucky hit, but in the end, he got enough Zerglings to force the player back, and he's in a good spot. He's spreading creep very, very well here, and Priest says, change the music and look back. All my lings. Oh, <laughs> So he says, yeah, I went to change the music as I was sending my lings up and all my lings are gone because that hit happened, which is very sad for him. This is why you do not change your music when you're playing StarCraft 2, boys and girls. Pretty much keep your attention as you can. Even if a terrible song comes up on your playlist, you pretty much need to keep it going. Keep your attention focused or you're going to lose everything that you have. As we look at the supply, it's 60 to 62. So losing all those things didn't necessarily cripple Priest. He is still alive. Here comes the Queen. Going to try to take down these Banelings before they can get in here and do some damage. Another Baneling on Ling attack here coming down. Boom. I don't know who won that. I really have no idea. There is still a Baneling left, though. And they do clean up a few of these Lings. The Queen is still alive. Queen has a single kill. Trying to take down that Baneling. Yes, doing a good job. That is something you want to do as a Zerg player is get a single Ling to take down a Baneling because that is a fair trade economically. That is a good thing for you resource-wise. So if you can make that happen, you can do it. Good players will keep their Banelings away. It takes a lot of micro to do that, though. There are some scouting lings coming on in. They see the spire. They know exactly what something is up to. And that was a big scout there from Priest. So we'll see what his response is going to be. It's probably going to be spore crawlers unless he is making a spire of his own. And he is. It's a little bit late. It's a lot late, actually, compared to some things. If these mutas get out early, they could really wreck Priest, depending on how things go. So, I mean, this is fantastic play. Pretty much when I play ZBZ, I kind of get stuck on lings or roaches. And uh, actually seeing these players do so much micro on their zerglings and at the same time, still have enough time to macro up and to tech up to mutas is just pretty inspiring. So, well played by them. Here comes the first muta and the mother group of mutas coming on out here. Total of six, which is pretty darn big. They're helping a lot in this ling on ling action. They're going to chase these red zerglings away. Probably should see a spore crawler up here in both of these bases here for our zerg player priest. But... Uh, no, I don't see that. He's just going to count on his muta popping out before the muta harass can show up. A uh, Overlord does die there. Does not supply block Priest, though. A Ling counterattack coming in, taking out a creep tumor. A couple of them dying to those Banelings, though. And, yeah, the mutas are pretty much not going to harass. They're going to stay home to try to clean up any attacks that come in from the Zerglings. As they can shoot down and the Zerg Zerglings cannot shoot up, that is not really a fair fight. But I think Priest is okay with it because it keeps the mutas out of his base and gets, time, gets him enough time to get his mutas up instead. So, here we go. Zerglings coming along the left side. Mutas kind of coming up the uh, center here. Going to try to deny this base here from Priest. That would be a huge pickup from something. We'll see what he manages to do. And is he going to force a cancel? Yes, last second, there is a cancel there by Priest. He recognizes he cannot save it and he gets out. The muta count is up. Muta count right now is 11 to 11. So it is even, which is kind of interesting. Well played there by Priest, keeping his muta count up. Trying to snipe down some workers, trying to snipe down possibly a Baneling, trying to get workers as well. But here we go, muta on muta action. I don't quite know who's winning. It's hard to tell with these particular battles, but I think with the queen down below, that was enough to chase our friend Sumsing away. And Priest does manage to shoo him. But at this point, unfortunately, it is two base to three base. And if you're Zerg, you want to be one base up on Terran, one base up on Protoss. And if you could be one base up on your opponent as another Zerg, you're going to be in a really good spot. So Overseer is probably going to die to these Mutalisks. This guy just kind of hanging out. He hasn't done much since the early game. Here come the Mutas. They know they have to do something. He knows he's down one base. The income tab is 57 to 44 at this point. Something is getting gas. He does have a Spore Crawler here at his third. He knows he needs to be able to defend attacks from Mutalisks. Spore Crawlers do extra damage against Biological. That was a change that was made for this very specific situation. I mean, pretty much in Zerg vs. Zerg, it used to be that Muta vs. Muta was pretty much the way to go because really nothing on the ground was fantastic against Mutalisks. Spore Crawlers were fairly ineffective unless you had a lot of them, and that was just such an investment. So they made Spore Crawlers actually do extra damage to Biological units, and they do super well against Mutas now. So more Muta on Muta action. And yeah, something decides to get the heck out of there. I don't know if he feels unsafe or not. The Ling counterattack is doing all right. A few Lings actually do get in here into the main. Can they take down this queen? I don't know if there are enough Zerglings to do it. And no, there are not. 
The defense comes on in to save the queen. Uh, I think without the defense, the queen might have actually died. It would have been close. Let's just say that. It would have been close, but we didn't have to see because the reinforcements arrived just in time. So something just kind of sitting back right now, not being too aggressive. He's trying to send all of his overlords home so they don't die to these mutilisks. But I think they're going to get caught anyway. Yeah, here we go. Muta's coming in and taking down one overlord, taking down two overlords, pretty much two volleying these guys, taking down three overlords, yes, and then taking down a fourth overlord, boo, howdy. It does not supply block our friend something though, he has been making overlords in preparation for that possible eventuality, so good game sense by him. Here come the mutalisks, it is, uh, let's see, 17 to 17, even matches on these mutas here, and another overlord goes down, that has got to be super annoying. Queen gets sniped as well. Here comes the Muta flock for our friend something. And what are we going to do here? Zergling attack on the right and Muta's attack on the center here. That looks like we might see another Overlord going down. Boy, Priest is doing really well with his uh, Mutalesks. Uh, scouting around, seeing what he can do. And uh, that creep tumor might be able to finish. That would be good. Giving some extra vision to something. And yes, it does finish. So... Oh, a bit of a gutsy creep tumor, but it works out in the end. And here we come. Third base now coming up for Priest. He's feeling okay. I don't think if he feels like he needs to attack here, but again, he has been down one base for quite a while. It's 66 to 41 harvesters, 154 to 110 supply. This is what can happen in Zerg versus Zerg. If you get a small advantage, it can snowball into a big one pretty, pretty quickly. Zergling counterattack coming along the left side. We'll see how effective they are. And the right side, a bit of attack here as well. Here come the Lings on the left side, though, coming right on down into the natural, actually into the main. What is their target going to be? Nothing. Uh, back and forth, they actually get picked off by some of the Mutalisks, and they're going to try to take down the Spire. Interesting. I don't think they're going to be able to get it, just because the Muta flock is right on top of them, and yeah, they all die. Uh, Mutalisks come in here with the absence on the Muta flock from something, going to try to take down a lot of the stuff. And there, again, there is a spore crawler, so priests want to come in there too far, and the Muta flock for something comes in to chase him off, so... Something being fairly conservative here, doesn't want to kill that third base, doesn't want to kill his opponent quite yet. 66 to 39 harvesters, he knows he has a supply advantage, and Priest calls the GG. He recognizes he is down in the Muta count. Let's take a look here, 26 to 14 Mutas at this point. Um, and I guess, uh, yeah, I mean, the game was going on. But anyway, the Muta flock was a lot bigger for our friend, who's continuing to run around even after the game is over and kill a lot of stuff. But again, congratulations to Sumsing. This is the game again that promoted him to master. So well played by him getting out of that diamond rut in the road. And this has been Falcon Paladin with yet another Daily Blizzard upload. If you liked what you saw today, hit that like button, hit that subscribe. You can also find me on Twitch, Twitter, and Facebook, all at slash Falcon Paladin. And until next time, as always, you take care of yourself.